2004, and I've got to run to a tutoring session. I'm trying to slide this in really quickly. Uh, 2004, number two, micro shows a demand for oil. These are just world price questions to supply of oil by the U.S., yada, yada. Identify before international trade occurs the price of oil, the quantity of oil. Obviously, before there's any trade, the price of oil is P2. The quantity of oil is Q2. So P2 and Q2. Now assume that the United States begins to import oil at the world market price of PW. Identify the quantity imported by the U.S. U.S. Where's this coming from? Anyway, this is our new price, PW, right there. Uh, obviously, we can see that at that world price, think about this now, as the price falls, as foreigners... Are, we're competing with the world, so foreign goods are coming into our country. It's pushing down the price because their goods are obviously cheaper than ours. They're flowing into the country, and that's pushing the price down. When the price goes down, our suppliers will obviously supply less of it. So now our domestic supply is right here at Q1. That's the quantity of our domestic supply. But at that low price, our people in our country are very, very happy to buy it. So Q3 is the quantity demanded by our domestic consumers. So we would say that the quantity of oil imported would be Q3 minus Q1. Can we see that? This quantity right here is the quantity that is imported. All right. Let's get rid of this. Identify the consumer surplus in each of the situations before international trade. So before there was any trade, it was all of that area up there was consumer surplus. Consumer surplus is everything above the price, but below the demand curve. Then, let's back it up here. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Let's back. Let's erase this. Then we start trading with the world. So we're at PW. That's our new price. And we can see that consumer surplus has, let's use a different color and be a little fancy, that consumer surplus has increased. We can see that, right? And that's not normal for us. So this looks really strange the first time you do it. Remember, consumer surplus is everything above the price. But below the demand curve, when the price goes down to PW, we gain this extra amount of consumer surplus. So all of this becomes consumer surplus. Can we see that? After international trade. Before international trade, it was, and I think we did that, but we should have marked the answers. Again, I'm going to do it one more time just so we can see it, because I should have done it the first time. Uh, if this was our price... P2, before any inter international trade, this is our consumer surplus, right? But then when we have the price goes down to PW, now all of this triangle is consumer surplus, all of that. We can see we've gained some there. So before international trade, it was P2KG. After international trade, it's PWKH. Easy enough, P, W, K, N, H, that triangle there. Nicely done. All right, and get rid of that. Now they're going to ask us about producer surplus. <clears throat> before, excuse me, before international trade, when our price was P2, all of that area was producer surplus. That was all producer surplus right there. Uh, we would say what? P2, G, P1. P2, G, P1. I like it. Uh, let's get rid of that. Now the price has fallen. So now the price is PW. And we can see only this little area here. Our, when the price goes down, the way we think about it is when the price goes down, consumer surplus increases, but producer surplus would decrease. This should make sense. Uh, producers, obviously, aren't getting as much for their good. They're not, only, not only are they going to produce less of it, their consumer or producer surplus has shrank. So it looks like PWJP1. PWJP1, nicely done. 
This is a strange. All these world price have one little question on the end usually. It's a bit different from everything we've seen before. They're asking us what the net gain is. So think about that for just a second. Sorry, at the price of PW, what is the net gain? Well, originally uh, we had, let's see if I can make this a little bit thicker. Originally we had, this was all consumer surplus and this was all producer surplus before we started trading with the world. But once we start trading with the world, we can see that now all of this is consumer surplus and all of that is producer surplus. Can we see that to the addition there that what we've gained? I don't know why I'm switching colors so much you guys can see it. Um, but just recognize that this little area right here is what we've gained. Because of that low price, consumer surplus um, obviously expanded to cover that. Originally, all of that was consumer surplus and all of that was producer surplus. The only part we really gained due to the world trade is that. Uh, area right there. So we would just say JGH. All right, guys. Uh, have a good one. Be safe. Thanks. Bye.